Welcome to our latest video on African Sun Productions YouTube channel. On this trip we've got a returning client, Chris. Um, we filmed him back in 2021. Yeah, I couldn't imagine coming back here without Martin and African Sun Productions. Uh, the hunt just goes so much better with their company along and, and I get a, an awesome video to look at for the rest of my life. Without wasting too much time, let's get to the action. Frankly, what we are having tonight, we have a, a garlic morsel, we have a, a jam squash, crimped one, we have a, um, a baby potatoes, we have uh, fresh veggies, we got a cereal steak, we have mushroom, that's what we are going to have tonight. Well, good morning everybody. Uh, on behalf of Mabula Pro Safaris, we would just like to welcome everybody here. Uh, this is our second day of the safari. You guys arrived here yesterday uh, after a bit of jet lag. I think we are ready. Uh, we have some newcomers, Brad and Justin. Welcome here. Um, Mike, you, are, you were here two years ago and Chris, you've been with us a couple of years. So yeah, it's, it's really fun to have you guys back. We're going to take it easy this next two days no bread it's gonna do some bow hunting here and then on Wednesday we're leaving for for the Kalahari uh, we're gonna hunt some more animals there so yeah welcome back I think we're gonna have a, a really good time all right so we're just gonna go see what buffaloes we can find maybe we get onto something really nice we're not gonna shoot the first buffalo we come across either look for something really really good and some that's really to be to be proud of, I guess. So um, yeah, let's see what the day delivers.
Right, so I think what we're going to do is um, the bushes, have, as you can see, is very thick. We've had good rain this year again. So that accumulated over the years. The bush is very thick. So we're not getting onto buffalo like we used to. So we have to now we have to literally go and look for them on good. foot. So we've got some fresh tracks and some fresh dung. So we're going to take the track and see if we can't get onto them. We're going to have to go slowly because you can see how thick the bush is. They hide behind the bushes. You can be sometimes 10 meters from them and you don't even know they're there. So we have to just take it slowly. And um, just also precautiously, we've got to always remember they are dangerous animals and just see how it works out. But I think if we just put a bit of mileage in, put some steps in, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get some luck. Just gotta watch out. The big ones are fine because you can see them easy and you can pull them off. But those small ones you don't see. And then you climb in the shower and it just it stings. <laughs> so that's why you gotta try and get off as much as you can. They must have come through here. This is on their way to the to the water. So look how fresh it is, still very moist. The dugger for the dugger balls. <laughs> they all had a turn, you can see where they put their horns in there. It's amazing. You could build a house from this stuff. <laughs> okay, so we just bumped them up here in this bush here now and they've come over this way but I think it's a good time just to get some water with them and just relax a bit and some to drink and then we'll try again and that's the best thing. So we just came past this area now and at the back of us we've got some red billed ox peckers behind us and that's generally a good sign for buffalo. Um, so we're going to walk in there maybe if we bump into a buffalo, you know the red billed ox peckers are always on the buffalo eating the parasites off of them. So maybe there's a buffalo lying underneath there that we can 
that we can get onto. Okay, so it's uh, the end of our first day. Unfortunately, we didn't get on. We got onto some buffalo, but unfortunately, couldn't get a shot this morning. Um, came out there, goes that kuru there. Anyways, <laughs> um, came out this afternoon, found those red built ox pickers. Decided to go in there, but the buffalo knew we were there before we knew they were there. And they ran out, and we did a good chase on them for a while. Unfortunately, they went into this really thick stuff, and to get in there and to get a shot is, it's yeah, almost they know impossible. How to shake us. Yeah, they know how to shake us off. I mean, this is their home, so they know where to go and where not to go. So, unfortunately, but never got onto them. But luckily, we saw a nice kudu bull. He's still a little bit young. Give him another year, and he'll be ready. That's the same kudu bull I just spoke about here that walked here. But yeah, tomorrow's another day. Let's give it. Tomorrow we're going to have to start. Early in the morning, that's the best cool. time for the buffalo. Okay. So let's do that. All right. All on. right. All righty. Let's go back to the lodge. <laughs> well, let me just put it to you this way. It's a trap. <laughs> right walking through this grass this yes, time of the year. There's just ticks everywhere. There we go. Hold it to the camera. There's a, there's a tick right there, the little feisty bastard. But this is our worst enemy now. It's a small one compared to the one that was on. Yes. The the, this is a small one.
So Chris, this morning came out early, six o'clock. Spotted a beautiful roan. Did a bit of a stock on him, but unfortunately he gave us a slip. So I think we're just gonna continue on. Well, first I want to preface this comment that Vinny likes forts and he owns one and we're riding in it. But it sounds kind of weird and we're concerned that, we, well, we want to get back to the lodge and eat tonight. Tonight, that's the operative word. Yeah. And, tonight. And so we've been talking about the virtues of other trucks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah without trying to offend anybody here, but the drive shaft just fell out a couple yards back. We've got Mervyn and my son are trying to wrench the engine back together so that we can go <laughs> home for dinner and eat tonight. Oh, gosh. Chris, we're on day four of your safari. Yesterday, we went after this nice roan, gave us a bit of a slip, got away. So uh, we're back this morning, see if we can find it. And um, the plan is uh, after that to leave for the Kalari. So hopefully, all wings, all is gonna go well. Um, you said he gave us a bit of a slip. Um, what do you mean by that exactly? Got away. <laughs> Yeah, he got away big time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Chris, well done on a perfect shot on your on your own. Yeah. Um, he went down like like 21's uh, roan. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. And you know what, what that reminds me of? I had to piggyback you all the way to your own. So I, I, think, it's, I think it's payback time. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? He's off by that tree. Yep. He's about a mile away. Can we ride on your back? Okay. <laughs> Did 
Yeah, I'm dead sure. Please, you need to piggyback me. Uh, it's good too no. far. It's too far. Oh, Eddie, how much do you weigh? Uh, maybe 50 <laughs> pounds. No, 200 kilos. <laughs> ah, I'm dying. <laughs> Look at this thickness, eh? Yeah, it's got a good mass. Good shot. Good shot. It seems like a little high, maybe. No. That's that's perfect. It's just a big animal. Well, we got here on Sunday. Today's Wednesday. And the uh, first thing Crystal did was sit us all down and tell us about a couple of really spectacular animals that he had here at Mabula. And, um, kind of got it in my head and then Hattie here who has caused more trouble for me than I know with my wife uh, got in my head even further and next thing I knew we were hunting this big roan and uh, now that he's down and I, he's, he's mine uh, I couldn't be more grateful to Hattie for talking me into it and Crystal too um, because it's an opportunity of a lifetime to, to take an animal like this one and to do it with your son here, Justin's with us, and um, this has been a, a great safari. And uh, I just love hunting here and loving hunting with you. And we've done a lot of hunts together here and out at Kalahari, and each one has just been stellar. And um, it's just kind of breathtaking to, to see animals like this, and I'm truly grateful to God for the opportunity to be here and to do this. Um, so thank you very much. It's a pleasure, Chris, and yeah. on behalf of Mabula Pro Safaris, once again, congratulations on a world-class trophy. Uh, I'm glad we found it, and yeah, well done. back at Mabula here we just finished an awesome hunt for a roan um, had a fun time there and uh, we got to pack up and we're gonna head uh, over to the Mankwe Lodge in the Kalahari Desert um, we're gonna chase some lions around there and uh, buffalo and and see what other kind of trouble we can get into so now time to pack up and get in Harry's car and uh, about nine or ten hours we'll be there and have some more fun Well, we've just arrived here at the Kalahari and uh, we're getting ready to start uh, the hunt here for my second of the big five, an African lion. Uh... Yeah, back in 2021, uh, when I first filmed with Chris, he came for his Cape Buffalo and it was an amazing hunt. That video is currently number one on our YouTube channel. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, it's about to hit six million views. Can you believe that? Uh, by the time you guys watch, it would have surpassed that for sure. But still, go and have a look. The link is on top here and also down in the description.
Good morning, Chris, Justin. Welcome to the Kalari. We are on day five, and uh, we're on a pursuit of a, of a lion. I know it's been a long life dream for you. So, um, yeah, we're finally here. With us, we have Mervyn and Bundu, it's our two trackers. So they're mainly going to look for some tracks this morning. And once we find tracks, we're going to circle the block and, and see if they are out and, you know, Depending on if they are in the block, we will take the tracks from there. If not, we'll continue and continue until we find fresh tracks and then take it from there. We have really tall grass up here in the Kalari, so it might be difficult, you know, looking for tracks and the lines. So we'll all just have to stay very close when we when we on the tracks and um, stay safe and so on. Yeah. No tracks this side, so we're just going to continue for some more tracks that side. Just saw some tracks back there, and we decided that we're going to see if we can see how far he went and didn't even go 100 yards and we saw him laying underneath the, the bush. So the plan is we're going to walk in, try and see if we can get close to him. If he runs away, we'll just take the track and see how far we can get. See this is the line we're looking for? Yep, definitely. I saw some big black mane on him, so that's definitely the one we're the looking for. The tracks are huge. They are huge, yeah. yeah.
Chris, this afternoon we started again on some fresh tracks that we left this morning. You can clearly see that we are back when almost where we started and he's made a big loop. He's going all the way back that side so we're making slowly progress. It's difficult with the grass but hopefully we'll catch up with him very soon. You think you, he's trying to find a place to lay down? Yeah, no, you can, you can clearly see that he's, you know, the way he's walking He's clearly looking for some thick oh. brush. And you've seen these fresh tracks? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just amazed at these guys. Ah, oh, these guys are amazing. That's, all I see is tall grass. Chris, unfortunately, we have to call it the end of the day. We are running out of time. The last track we saw was running through here, so he's going into some really thick stuff. Was he running? Stuff. No, he's, he's a bit of a jogging, but yeah, he's still going. Yeah. But yeah, we run out of daylight, so I think we will come back tomorrow morning, continue, see if we can find him. Justin, just want to thank you. Good eyes, spotted him a couple of times. Yeah, he did. It's really good eyes. Oh, that's you. really good. Oh. Buti, Wundu, thank you very much. It's been a good day. You guys did very well. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.
Oh, we just spotted the lion. He's off to the left here and uh, been driving around trying to find tracks and finally got him. So we're going to have a run at him this morning and hopefully God is good to us and allows us to be lucky to have a shot and also to keep safe. So that's what we're praying for. See, this is our tracks from earlier. So you made a right a loop right over our tracks. That's dangerous, huh? Oh, it's just real close.
Thank you. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Put his sticks out, put the sticks out. Sticks, come this side. Come this side. Can you see where his neck yeah, is? Yeah. Put one in his neck. Well done. Boy, good job. Appreciate it, Harry. Pleasure. Thank you. 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 Well, after two days of bumping this lion, and uh, we'd, you know, we'd come into the back of him and he'd take off. We'd see him again. He'd hide up. And the minute he'd he'd see us, he'd turn around and just run. And uh, so it was frustrating. We just stalked and, and watched Booty. The guys, they just would track and track and then we'd finally get up to him again and bump and then he'd take off and run. And so Hattie saw him out, I don't know how far, three, 400 yards away? No, yeah, about 300 yards, yeah. He was underneath a tree and we saw, Hattie saw his silhouette. And he put together a great stalk, kind of from tree to tree to tree. So we kept out of the line of sight, and we got up about 50 yards. 50, yes. He was just about 50 yards, and uh, sure enough, he took off running. And so I had to have a it was a running shot at him, and I just put it in the middle of the the black part of the mane there, and then tried to keep it down a little lower than halfway, and touched it off, and we heard the roar, and so that felt good, and. And then he disappeared around some thick shrub because he's in this blackthorn and, and camel thorn trees here. He's been kind of hanging out in that for the whole time that we've been after him. And um, so get another round in quick and, and then we wait a minute and then Hattie wanted to go in after him. And I did not. <laughs> but we did. We went in and, and uh, finally uh, came around and we saw him struggling and trying to get up. and put another shot into him and then that seemed to settle him down so we came around the back side and I couldn't be more thankful. Um, it's a lot of fun to be here with my son and, and my friends to, to take something like a majestic African lion. It's quite an experience.
shot at him. Okay, all right. Well, we spotted two big golden Gemsbach bulls here. They might be the ones that we're after. And so we went in and real quiet, kind of took after the, the one on the further south. And uh, there was a half a dozen wildebeest in there and a white blesbach. And they finally just jump started and ran them all out. So we're gonna have another crack at it probably, I don't know exactly, a, tomorrow morning or where we come back a little bit later on and let them settle back down but there's a couple of really good Gemsbuck bulls in here probably pushing 40 inches so we're gonna try real hard to see if we can get one of them Today was a beautiful day. It uh, started out with a bang, with us uh, getting the lion all finished and done. And then uh, here with our uh, golden oryx wandering around. And this uh, truly has got to be uh, my favorite part of the day. So it's been a pleasure all of today. Good morning. Uh, well, we've got uh, today and tomorrow, and then we're done at the Kalahari, and we have to go back to Mankwe, or to Mabula. And so we're going to raise hell today. Uh, there's a golden uh, gemsbuck that's waiting out there. Um, we're going to chase him around. And we just had a fabulous breakfast this morning. Uh, Cindy just does what she always does so well. It was just delicious. And it's cool. The birds are chirping. It's just a beautiful day. And I'm here with the people that I like the most. So uh, just really looking forward to having a fun hunt.
Chris. Unfortunately, those two gimp bucks, they eluded us, got away. So I think we'll just continue, see if we maybe spot them somewhere. been busy doing nothing for two hours straight. It's exhausting. But we, we sat in the blind here, waiting for some big games book to come in. And they knew what we were doing and our intentions, and they never showed up.
That was one hell of a shot. Well done. Thank you. My mouth's all dry and my heart's hammering. <laughs> it's a good thing it wasn't anything bigger. Man. Heart's just slowly starting to calm down a little bit. My mouth's still dry, but um, it's, a, it's a beautiful animal and it was a lovely stock by Harry and especially his shot placement where he told me to put the round and uh, luckily we connected, so, um, but uh, thank you, thank you. I, I gotta say, uh, for his <clears throat> old man getting to watch it from behind in the binoculars to see the whole stock develop hearing that rifle go off and then see, I heard that bullet hit that animal. I was like, oh my gosh. I can't believe my son's over here in Africa and he's doing it. He's actually doing it. This is a highlight of the whole trip. It really, it really is. Well, we're uh, getting close to the end of our second hunt together uh, with African Sun Productions and, and Martin. And it's dawned on me that there, that so much more has been added to each of these hunts that Martin's on. Uh, not only great videos, but so much more fun. The trip's more fun, and Martin spots games sometimes ahead of the PHs. Uh, he just uses his drone so effectively to to, to spot animals, uh, I just realized that the whole hunt uh, is enhanced in so many more ways than just, just the video that's provided. Well, Chris, it's been a pleasure working with you again, and I hope to see you soon. Of course. Next year, year yeah. after. Yeah. And then we'll see what we can, can get up to then. Number three of the dangerous <laughs> game, maybe. Yeah. We'll work our way through. I look forward to it. Thank you again. Um, today's our last hunting day. So, Eddie and I stayed up late last night and made a plan. We're basically just going to shoot everything today um, that we see. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, and if we don't do that, we're going to try at least for a gemspot, a golden gemspot. And then I'm hoping that I can get my son here to uh, get after a spring button today. Um, he whacked a nice Apollo last night right before dark and and so if we see a big old spring buck, I think Justin's going to get on it and put a hole in it. Maybe. We'll see. Yesterday was, was perfect. I have my insights. Well, that was a great hunt you did. And so it's, every hunt has to come to a close, and I just hate it. I really do. Um, but it means today we enjoy the beauty of today more so than ever. Uh, because we're here and we're hunting. And, and so we don't think about tomorrow or the next day, we just think about today and the pleasure that we're allowed to enjoy here. So, Eddie, it, as it's always been, it's just so much fun, so pleasurable to hunt with you. And then to see you taking my son out last night, that was, that was really uh, a neat thing for me. Yeah, it's a pleasure, Chris, and like always, it's nice to have you. Like, uh, we're like family. So I enjoyed really a lot to hunt with you all. All right. <laughs> Thank you.
we saw a very nice golden gimspuck inside here. She came this this direction, so yeah. I think we're gonna get off here and just walk through this block and see if we can bump her somewhere. Chris, this is our last afternoon here in Kalahari. Can you believe it? Time flies. Yeah, it flies. So um, I hate this. Yeah, we're gonna quickly walk one of through one of these blocks, and um, hopefully, we are gonna be successful finding a nice golden games buck. So yeah, we'll see. We'll try yeah. our best. Oh, I know. We always do. Yeah. Well, Chris, Justin, we have come to an end of an awesome hunt again. Uh, it was really nice and fun to have you guys here at Mabula Pro Safaris. I wish you all safe travels back home, Justin. It was really an awesome time with you, um, being also on your first hunt. Uh, it, it's a real honor to have guided you, and I hope to see you back here in the future. Pleasure's mine, thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I could say that too, the same thing. The <clears throat> pleasure is mine, but also to see you taking him out after that Impala, that uh, that was pretty cool for me to, to see. No, I appreciate and, and it. Having Martin uh, behind him filming that whole thing, I can't wait to see that whole thing. This has just been a blast. And as always, I hate to say goodbye. I don't like that. Uh, mother say hello, but we're at the end, so it's that time to go back home. Yeah. 
Thank you for everything. That's a pleasure, and thank yeah. you for, for being with us. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> having, having a hunt like this uh, is, is an epic event, and having it filmed is so easy. You just email Martin Miller at African Sun Productions, and uh, it happens really fast for you. Now, I wouldn't uh, do a hunt without him. <laughs>